It's something that is used in most tropical updates, and that is the Cone of Uncertainty. And it's important to know what exactly it is and what exactly it is not. I'm meteorologist Robert Sveta. Let's talk about this. So the Cone of Uncertainty is an area where the storm center is most likely to move over. And basically the uncertainty part is the forecast air where it could go north to south, east to west as far as that low level center is concerned. The cone represents that likely path and as new data comes in and available, that cone can shift just a bit. But basically it means the center could move over one of those areas. Now what it is not is the overall impact of a storm. So you may be thinking, I'm not in that yellow shaded area doesn't matter if it's in the Philippines or anywhere else in the world. That's not what the cone is for. That is just the center. The broader range of impacts can excel, extend well outside of that low level center, bringing all sorts of uh, a variety of different impacts. So the cone does not have any information about the size of the storm. So let's talk about some myths and truths with this. A myth, the storm will only affect areas inside the cone. I just mentioned it will not. The cone, cone predicts the exact path of the storm. They try, but it can change and waver just a bit within that cone of uncertainty. That's what it's there for. It's perfectly safe outside the cone. No, we just said the impacts can extend well away from it. And the smaller the cone, the weaker the storm, or the larger the cone, the stronger the storm. The cone has nothing to do with the overall intensity of a tropical cyclone. So I hope that helps kind of break down what exactly the cone of uncertainty is. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. If you have any questions like this or you would like to see any education videos, please let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you go ahead and give us a nice little like and subscribe. Stay safe out there.